apparently these people came in the night i'm just in the garden and trying to see um you know what was happening they cut the wire they entered from there they entered from somewhere they entered from here because the yard is demarcated in two and you can see their footsteps you know you can see their footsteps here you see they were walking around here yeah, look okay and this is the army boot these are army boots look you see these are army boots have you seen that these are army boots hmm? look here you can see it's like they spent a lot of time here because the grass is look they cut my wire here here is the wire cut this is the wire it is cut they cut this wire from here and also there you can see the lines the last one is cut and they were walking around here look you see these are army boots these are army boots hmm? you see that wire this side this side is okay but here they cut it hmm? they were walking around here My gardener was taken from, they picked him up from here. You see? They were hiding here. So when he opened this gate, the moment he opened, that's how they nabbed him. Tied him and asked him to lead, to lead, to lead them to, to the house. Hmm? So, Mm -hmm. <sighs> they have cut the wire clearly there they have cut the wire i think they wanted uh to get in how they didn't get in i don't know how they didn't get in, i don't know i i really don't know because from the way the uh, they came well, well prepared. They had, uh, you know, those plastics. You know, the police officers use uh, handcuffs. Soldiers have got those special strips, and that is a strip that they used to tie my gardener. So it means, I mean, they came equipped. They had them. You know, they had them, and I'm sure they didn't carry those strips to come and tie my gardener. I'm sure the intention was to come and tie me. That was the intention. The vehicle was not nearby. The vehicle was further. They were talking by phone, by phone, by phone, by radio. By radio. He called on the phone. They were communicating with others from outside. You know? Hey. And, and, you see? You see? You see? You see? You yeah it's terrible it's really terrible but anyway i only thank god mm. honestly i mean what are you what are you saying i mean i can't if this is not dictatorship then tell me what is this 
soldiers, soldiers going to a house of a citizen. Dixon, you are asking me, do you have CCTV? I've just uploaded, I just uploaded that you can watch some of the, some of the, uh, the footage that I picked. Because, I, I mean, some of you in Mueva Thomas, you don't want to believe, you want until it is seen. I have uploaded part of it. Uh, I've uploaded just part of it, but I'm going to process the, the, the footage nicely and I will show you clearly. I'm going to uh, upload it. I have sent it out because I, you know, I didn't want to, to show it before uh, I secured the files. So I've secured the files. I've sent it to uh, some of my friends and some journalists. We will process the, we will process the footage and see so that you can see clearly how everything happened. But surely, surely we are in the Ichirema. Surely we are in the Ichirema. Is this how desperate you are? Is this how desperate you are? Those are soldiers. And you, my brother, you, my brother, Aluguzi, the commander-in-chief, honestly, you told, they told my guard, my, my gardener, that you should tell your boss he should not do, be talking about the army. What do I talk about the army? That you should send your, your, your officers to my house. What do I talk about? What has threatened you? Because that is an act of cowardice. I'm telling you. That is an act of cowardice. You are scared of something. What is it that you are scared of? What is it that you are scared of for you to send army officers there? I have interacted with you. I have interacted with you. If indeed, you even have my phone number. If indeed there is something, I even said it. If there is something, why not call me? Why send soldiers to come and, you know, waylay me at my house? They were hiding in the gardens like proper criminals. The moment that, guard, that gardener came in, opened, they got him and tied him up and asked him to lead, to lead them to where I was. I would have been picked. The intention was to pick me without anyone knowing. The intention was to pick me so that no one knows where, I'm, where, 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 where they have taken me. I could have disappeared. I could have just disappeared because these guys, they were around here to pick me. They came to pick me. That's why they drove their land cruiser in my yard. They drove the land cruiser in my yard because they wanted to pick me. I have said it here that people who start disappearing today could have been my day of disappearing. People wouldn't have known anything. People wouldn't have known anything. They came with the intention to pick me. And surely, if they were picking me in good faith, why cover themselves? All their faces covered. And wearing black combat. They were all in combat. They were not wearing civilian. They were wearing those black combats. They were wearing those black combats. God knows what time they came. God knows what time they came. And you know, God also is there. God protects people, really. God protects people. Yesterday, I stayed home. I just stayed home. And usually when I'm inside the house, I make sure that I put up all the security systems. If I had gone out, I'm sure they would have picked me. It seems those people came in the night. They didn't come in the morning. Because my gardener comes here at six, hour, six hours. That's when he comes in. Immediately he came in at six hours. They got him. They nabbed him. So it only means that those criminal, those soldiers came here in the night wearing black combats, covering their faces. Honestly, what can you think of that? What can one think of that? If really people would come in the night wearing black, covering their faces with guns, what do you think they, what do you think the, the, the intentions were? What do you think the intentions were? If it was you by HHE, you keep talking about, no, PF was a, a bad government, PF, what, 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 what? Did you have soldiers at your house? Did you have soldiers in the manner that they have come to my house? I can't, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I am shaken, not because of soldiers. No, 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 no. I have signed a death warrant. What I am shaken for, because when I saw them, I thought they were criminals. I thought they were criminals. I started shooting. And God knows, I mean, one would have died. One would have died. I saw them with guns. I saw them with guns. And I'm telling you, I didn't, I, I was ready for the battle. I was
was ready for the battle, ready for the battle, for, for goodness sake. I would have shot one, I would have shot one of them. I would have shot one of them. I'm telling you, I was going to shoot one of them. But there is just something that told me, you know, stay calm. Those are innocent. Those people that you sent, those are innocent people. You just sent them. They were following orders. And yes, they are military. But I had an advantage of them. I was seeing them. I had an advantage of them. I was seeing them. Thank God, the moment I, st I started shooting, they, 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 they retreated. I don't blame you. All of you who came here, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. You are innocent people. You are just sent. And we thank God. We thank God that we are, you are both, we are, we are safe. I was seeing you. I saw you when you were coming in. I had an advantage of, of, over you. I had an advantage over you because I was seeing you. You didn't see me. You could be soldiers, but you are human beings. Honestly. Please, you were voted by the people. Don't turn this country into a dictator. The army commander, please. Come on. Is this a professionalism that you are talking about? You were telling me you are a professional for 40 years. Surely, is this a professionalism that you are talking about? Is this how soldiers operate in a democracy? You are telling me you are a professional. That's what you are telling me. You are a professional for 40 years. But surely, what has happened today? Is this a professionalism that you are talking about? When did you see in this country? This is the first time me have never heard of it. I've never heard of it. I've never heard of it. I've never heard of soldiers attacking a house of a civilian. I've never heard of it. In the 40 years that you have been in the military, honestly, no, 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 no. This is, this is not right. This is not right. I'm just a simple citizen. And what I talk about, I don't talk about my own issues. I talk about issues that are relating to people out there. I talk about the issues that are relating to people out there. The plight I'm talking about is not my own. It's the plight of the people out there. No, no, no. This is not right. This is not right. This is not right. Alaine Mukanjipaya, you will kill me. And I'm ready for it. You will kill me. If that is what it will take for Zambians to realize that Baaka in the is a dictator, so be it. Because sometimes one person has to die for others. Sometimes. Sometimes one, there must be one fool. Take me as a fool, but there must be one fool that is ready to die for others. And I'm ready. I'm that fool. I'm that fool. You told my gardener, tell him not to talk about soldiers. The question is, what is it that you are scared of that I shouldn't talk about? What is it that you are scared of that I shouldn't talk about? That you have to send soldiers with guns. No, no, no. This is not right. This is not right. This is not right. This is not right. It is just not right. And it's not me who is wrong. It's you. It's you who is wrong. It's not me. I've never insulted you. I've never lied against the, uh, anybody. I don't lie. 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 Hmm? It's not me. I mean, this is, this, is, this is a democratic country. And I've got the right to express myself. I've got the right to speak for the Zambian citizens. Why do you want to, uh, why do you want to kill me? Why do you want to kill me if what I'm saying is not true? I'll show you a bit. There is the land cruiser. There. This is the land cruiser. You see? It slowed down. Eh? You will see somebody coming to open the gate here. had to slow down because there was a vehicle in front you see it turns have you seen now you see this guy in a mask coming to open the gate
You see that guy there opening the gate? You see the gate opens? Have you seen him? And you will see now he comes out to call he comes out to call the land cruiser. You see? There is the land cruiser coming into the yard. You see, look at him. You see? You see them reversing? Have you seen? Look, look. Have you seen how they were dressed? And that's how they left those. I'll show you the other side. I want to show you the other side when they when they came in with uh, my gardener tied. You see there with my gardener tied. You see that guy? There he is. He was pushing the gate. He went and opened the gate and he was his highly technical. He opened the gate without um, without the remote key. See them coming. My innocent chickens going about their business. You see, there is this guy. You see, well, master. Open the gate. The land cruiser comes in. No number plate. He wanted to close the gate, but he felt he came back. And you see, just got this antenna for the radio signals. He went to brief whoever was there. I think that was the boss. At this point. At this point, I was shooting. Look. Because I was shooting, you see, this guy goes back. Don't doubt these are not soldiers. These, they identified themselves. Why are you doubting them? They identified themselves and these are soldiers. Where did you see criminals having such a car? Eh? With an attempt, how dumb can you be to ask are these real soldiers? Look, this is the guy who was now telling my my garden. You see, that's how they left. processing the video you can't see it very clearly on this this camera but um, you will see it clearly when we process the video ah <sighs> I don't know what to say I really don't know what to say but I can assure you see me alive here me I'm ready to die because I strongly believe that what I'm doing is not wrong it's not wrong what I'm doing is not wrong so, if you have to kill me 
for telling you the truth, for pointing out your weaknesses. I am ready to die for it. I'm not going to stop. I am not going to stop. You told my gardener to, that I should stop talking. Here I am, I am talking. Come and shoot me, come and kill me. If that will make you, if that will give you peace, do it, do it. I have no doubt that your intentions were not good. And I know you didn't come in the morning. You must have been around the whole night. You must have been around the whole night. I just feel bad for the, for the soldiers that were sent. I just feel bad for the soldiers that were sent. Because really, really, I mean, I thought they were criminals for goodness sake. I thought they were, I only thought it can only be criminals that would tie my gardener and ask him to lead me, to lead them where I am. It is not a secret service. It's not the police. Those are soldiers. Those are soldiers. Even the guns that they were holding, those are soldiers. Even the guns that they were carrying, those are soldiers. Those are soldiers. No doubt about it. But at least now you know. The next time you hear I've disappeared, you know exactly what is going on. And for those of you who are still doubting, yes, today they came to my house and you think you are safe. One day you remember me. One day you remember me. Anyway, uh, I just thank God really. I, uh, my God is there. I just thank God and only God protects me. It's only God that protects me. It's only God that protects me. God himself knows. I will die when God will say die. I will die when God will say die. That's why I'm not scared. Because the day that I will die, it will not be because the army want me dead or Haka Inde Ishlema want me dead. It will be because God himself has decided. Otherwise, Luen, you might be shocked that your bad intentions against me will turn against you. Your bad intentions against me will turn against you. I don't think God will let you spill my blood and you continue enjoying your lives. I don't think so. I don't think so. That I can assure you. Today, God protected me. Anyway, for now, let me stop. We'll meet at 20 hours. Thank you very much.